Alba, Alba, I'm Cordon. You're transfer. transfer. Okay. What's that? You see, ID sort of. Ah, that's not Sorry. I got it. Bridge bro. Alba, Alba. But Allah Ah, Janu, you are not forest the bureau. Gambia, Tonko, na Lombardia, bureau. Ah. Bring coin of a carton. But is it called a kino carton? For bottom blabber. Fifty six branches smaller so the Gambia. Huh? Ha. Gambia cono and in Gambia Bantala Bangul. Unco Kono Kia Bere. Kodo Sifa Sifa for Falindiro for Nadi left a member of Kodito Koton in Kodimaro. Janum number one in Yonda. And no for another another enterprise is so that. Well, of Golam Nintuko, Domoral Fanan Kol Fanan Bay Fira, the daddy man in Domoral Fanan Betia. Gambia Dauda Yalom of Fakindol Sodari. I fell in the Mokanian left a yell and candle every night. Yale Bukanil of Wall, Abaraka, Yalon del Chosano, Abaraka. Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms, or our story building, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, school, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, sonar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220 or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. When we touch down, but I broke down. Yamtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication. him that the last time he sent the money it was not enough to buy all the provisions oh sorry i forgot to tell him are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions yes, yes. but don't
Don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. Welcome to the brunch on Kerfatu Live. I am Lamin Cham, welcoming you once again to our weekly current affairs program. So, wherever you are watching us from, you are welcome. This week, we will start with the National People's Party of President Barrow, which has just elected an executive um, after one year or so after the party was launched in a tumultuous ceremony, if you like, at the Independent Stadium. Now that an executive has been formed for the party, we will discuss what lies ahead for the party, which must face at least 20 or more contestants in 2021 for the top job that Mr. Barrow is holding. Now, among Mr. Barrow's stalwarts in this new executive is Lamin Queen Jamme. Lamin Queen Jamme was uh, a governor of NBD in the latter years of the regime of former President uh, Yaya Jamme. Lamin Jamme was, of course, a teacher um, before that who taught for something like 16 years. But then, of course, he will tell us about his own professional and personal life before we delve into his new job as spokesman of the National People's Party of President Barrow. Mr. Jame, welcome to the brunch on Kerfaru. I thank Allah and thank you, Mr. Chan, mm -hmm. for having me in the program. Very good. It has always been our policy to talk to all sides of political opinion in the Gambia, and we are glad that now that the National People's Party have got a spokesman, um, we will be getting them all the time on our panels and programs because before you come to the job or before the executive was um, selected what used to happen is that there was never anybody who was readily available who will tackle criticisms from the many opponents of president barrow and his party like for example uh, there are now 18 political parties just to give you an example. Now, each time any of these parties issues a press release, whether you like it or not, the first or the second sentence will criticize President Barrow. Now, if there is nobody who is tackling these issues and making prompt replies in the media, and of course, you know, the media cannot suppress these political parties' opinions, you will see that there will be an imbalance because they are 18 in number and all of them are criticizing one body and there is nobody replying and the journalists would not be able to suppress these 18 parties uh, i mean ideas so you will see there will be an imbalance in the media and then they will blame the journalists mm. when actually it is the uh, i mean the governing party or whatever who are not readily available to tackle this so now that you've been appointed uh, you know, the first thing that makes me happy about it is that now there is a spokesman mm. whom anybody can contact over any issues or criticisms that come from these 18 or now getting onto 20 or 21 uh, bodies. So we will take this first hour with you. Mm -hmm. um, first, like I said, tell us who is Lamin Queen, Jeremy. Thank you very much once again, Mr. Cham. I am 
Lamin S.I. Jame officially. Mm -hmm. uh, commonly called Lamin Queen Jame. I was born in Sitanunku mm -hmm. in the Upper Nyumi district, uh, North Bank region of the Gambia. Where do you got your queen? Were you those who were named after Queen Elizabeth when she came in 1961? Was it? Uh, not necessarily, oh. because there are elderly people in my village, uh, close to 100 years today, okay. uh, who are also named queens. So oh, okay. That does not. So that must be Queen Victoria. Yes, okay. tradition, <laughs> what no, I understand yeah. is that traditionally in my community, yeah. a first son born to a mother. Mm is named queen by the mother's group oh i thought this queen idea all come from british no, monarchy no no okay okay uh, it could have a link with the monarchy of mm. course mm -hmm. but then not necessarily the visit of the queen to the gambia okay yes not this particular queen that was in 61 exactly exactly <laughs> elizabeth good yes so tell us a little bit about your career yes um as i said earlier on that was where i was born sitanunku mm -hmm. I went to Sitanunku Primary School mm -hmm. uh, from 1970 to 1976 when I proceeded to Berending Secondary Technical School uh, from 1976 to 1980. Mm -hmm. Then upon completion, I joined the teaching profession as an unqualified teacher and taught for four years. Mm -hmm. uh, following which I went to Gambia College in 1984 mm -hmm. and left there in 1986. Since then, I've been teaching uh, till 1996 when I was appointed the district chief of Oponyomi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Good. That was in 1986. So, 1986. Mm. And how long have you been CFO? Yes, I remain also in that position of CFO for 16 years. Oh, you were, you were combining both uh, governor then and chief at some point. No, no, no. I, I had to, I had to resign. I had to abandon the chief chieftaincy. Yes. Yes, because it's the same service. I see. So it's a question of being elevated from a lower cadre to, to an a, upper cadre. To a senior one. Yes. So, I, nineteen ninety six, I was appointed chief. Mm -hmm. I remained there until 2012 mm -hmm. when I was appointed as governor of the region. Until 2016? Um, until 2016, mm -hmm. five years. Yeah, when the uh, APRC regime was uh, yes. defeated at elections. At, at an election, yes. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. So that is that. Is that. That's, that is your During point. which period, mm -hmm. I studied my private O levels. Okay, yes. And Easy got myself level. ready. Okay. Then um, I went to the University of the Gambia in 2012 mm -hmm. and studied international development mm. major and sociology minor. Fantastic. Uh, so Good. Was, you was, really have um, really quite an impressive career in, in the local governments, rising from CFO to governor. So I take it that you have a very strong connection and a vast knowledge of politics, in, not just in the NUMIS, but in the NBR as, as a whole. Yes. Okay. And most of the time, you were, of course, a member of the APRC. I was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was, in fact, prior to the advent of APRC, it was the July 22nd movement. movement yes. Uh, I was an active, very strong member of the July 22nd movement. movement yes. Then, uh, just prior to elections, mm -hmm. the movement metamorphosed to the APRC. APRC. So so you have and you have a long history and connection with the APRC. Certainly yes. Okay. Now one may ask, the mm -hmm. APRC is still alive mm -hmm. and kicking. Mm -hmm. But now you surfaced with the National People's Party of President Barrow. Okay. Is that a personal decision or the two are one and the same now? Um not necessarily the two are the same. Mm -hmm. It is personal. It's your personal decision. Yes, it is my personal de um, decision. Personal, and in fact, it is based on my belief. Mm -hmm. It was in 1987, mm -hmm. before the general elections of 1987. Yeah, that's under the Jawara region. Yes. Prior to 87, I was 
a supporter of the opposition. You were NCP or DOI? Because there was DOI now. Essentially NCP. NCP, yes, okay. All right. Um, but I said, sometimes you can be on something you think is the, is the right, mm -hmm. when actually you may be wrong. Ah, yes. From personal experience, I said to myself, everything had happened in the Gambia. There was a, a trouble in 1981 which led to the rebellion. Mm -hmm. And there was um, scarcity of food items in the early 80s. Mm -hmm. uh, there was the severe economic recovery program. Yeah, in the mid 80s. Uh, mm -hmm when government declared that the ship was overloaded and they had to retrench yeah, civil the service. civil service. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot that had happened. Mm -hmm. So I said to myself, if all this had happened, and these are some of the reasons why I am supporting the oppo opposition, mm -hmm. if people still continue to vote for PPP and vote for Honor, um, His Excellency President yeah, Dr. Khaira yeah, Jawara, Jawara yeah. I wouldn't be left with any option mm -hmm. but to also believe in destiny and join the PPP. Which you did? Which I did. Okay. As soon as the 87 elections were over, mm -hmm. I wrote my application to the Central Committee of PPP mm -hmm. and I was responded to with a welcome mark, remarks. Were you given any administrative or any No, I, I only applied for membership. membership. Because I did not want my membership to be, mm -hmm. you know, I wanted to take a so very clear path. So basically, it's not the first time that you are dumping one party for the other. No. Well, the theory that I came to accept mm -hmm. is the divine creation of the leader. I strongly believe mm -hmm. that the leader is divinely created. The leader comes from yes. God. Yes. And not necessarily human beings. Uh, the human element can be a factor. Mm. But superimposed in everything, mm -hmm. in my belief, it's is God. that, yes, it's God. Good. So let's come to the uh, present now. Yes, okay. I, like I told you, it's your personal decision now to leave the APRC mm -hmm. and to go to the NPP. Okay. Um, this comes in the aftermath of a visit to State House by former National Assembly members and governors, mainly from the APRC. Mm -hmm. Um, and then shortly after we had your name among the executive. Mm -hmm. So do we now assume that, uh, whether or not you admit it here, there is a rapprochement between the APRC and the uh, NPP? Because uh, like, there are a vast majority of APRC people whom I have not yet seen join President Barrow, mm -hmm. but is, 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 is your appointment now or election now into this thing and the presence of your former colleagues at State House, does it give any indication that we may see a rapprochement between the two? Um, frankly, matters are at the individual level. So far. And not, not necessarily at the, at level, the party of level of the two parties. Good. But okay. if people like you, who were the big wigs in the FPRC, then mm -hmm. found your way to the NPP, I mean, uh, you are either, uh, I mean, in cohort with the general membership APRC in doing that, or well, today, you are not friends anymore. Mm. Do you believe that the rest of the APRC would consider you people as betrayers or political opportunists? Mm. Or do, do, if you don't admit that actually they approve of what you are doing? Um, Any way it is taken, mm -hmm. I think what is important is my personal philosophy, what I believe in. Exactly. And also to understand that in a democratic society, one has to be able to withstand mass pressures without emotions, but intellect. Um, as soon as the elections were, results were declared and uh, anomaly came into being mm -hmm. after the impasse, mm -hmm. Even before I left Kerewan, mm -hmm. I called a regional stakeholders meeting mm. because when you are together with people, mm -hmm. consultations are very important. Mm -hmm. 
sounding each other's opinion on matters of common interest are very important. Indeed. So what I did was I invited development focal points. Mm -hmm. uh, and by this I mean what councillors in the form of ward chairpersons were invited at that meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, women presidents of the National Women's Federation mm -hmm. across the region were invited. invited yeah. um, APRC constituency chairpersons and the regional committee mm -hmm. were invited. Mm -hmm. And the reason for the meeting and the consultation was that we have long been telling people let us follow and support the government's party because it is Allah who brought him. Mm. So if the same Allah had changed, mm -hmm. it is important to go back to the people and ask them, what do we today say? Mm. All right? And as I mentioned inter earlier, mm -hmm. this is a strong belief in me. If you go through the archives of GRTS, mm -hmm. My 2015 regional celebrations of the independence. Okay. You will come across an evidence of what I am saying in that speech. Which is your belief that uh, yes, yes. Uh, once somebody is leader, yes, it is obviously has to do with uh, destiny. Exactly. And there should be no question as to why anybody should oppose that individual. Exactly. But Mr. Jame, isn't is, is it this is it not this kind of theories mm -hmm. that really many people describe as reasons why nations are backward because they cannot reason and challenge the decisions that are made on their behalf by the leaders, mm -hmm. so that they just follow them as people follow religion, which in this case is different. In my opinion, no. Mm. In my opinion. The answer is no. Um, believing in the divine creation of the leader by God mm -hmm. cannot bring about backwardness of any society. In fact, it can only advance development, wow. depending on how what spiritual position mm -hmm. one has. How how do you think that uh, um, if, if we cannot challenge? I mean, to 2016. Okay. Uh, I mean, we you saw you were uh, APRC, but you saw how the people come together, mm -hmm. you know, and form a coalition mm -hmm. that was able to get more numbers in terms of votes than President Jame. Mm -hmm. So it was people who who did that. Or or do you want to say again that the, that was God's decision? Mm -hmm. um, that was why I said there is a human element of it. Okay. The human element of it has to be done by people. Mm -hmm. But let us ask ourselves... But, but they're always guided by God. Was it the first time for a coalition to be made? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Why was it not possible to, to defeat the APRC at an earlier election when, did, when there was NAD? Maybe there wasn't enough numbers at the time and NAD split. This time this opposition was much stronger than NAD. And certainly, hmm. you will come to accept also that, that it was always the will of God. Uh -huh. <laughs> See? Okay. So that is the point. Yes. Um, I believe that considering sometimes the efforts that are done by people, mm. unless they are accomplished by divine will, they, they cannot happen. They cannot achieve it. Yes. Okay, let's come now. Um, you now join the NPP, um, mm -hmm. the National People's Party. According to you, you have a policy of uh, agreeing mm -hmm. that it is God's will that Mr. X or a group, a certain group should be leaders mm -hmm. and naturally we should follow them. Mm -hmm. Now we are eight months or seven months to be exact from the 19... Uh, from the 20th. Excuse me, yes. excuse me, Mr. Cham. Oh. Yes, um, mm -hmm. you see, my personal view about the theory... Yeah is also different from the Eurocentric view. Mm -hmm. And it is the Eurocentric view that you have made mention of. Mm -hmm. Which is? That some people, mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not bringing about any classification of people. You're talking about yourself. Any, any stratum of society that these are the people who are born to lead. Mm. No. Okay. 
so leadership it, it so happens yes yeah. leadership in my opinion mm. from Allah mm -hmm. is to the individual and not is necessarily mm -hmm. the background from where one comes, comes from. from naturally yeah all right mm -hmm. in our traditional caste system yes we that we know of mm -hmm. you can see sometimes mm -hmm. people from one caste mm -hmm. crossing over to the other mm -hmm. and becoming leaders yes that's possible for example, some people believe in ancient Mali, mm -hmm. ancient, ancient Sudan. Sudan, yeah. Uh, Mohammed Askia, mm -hmm. some people believe, the great. was 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 had a, a lower caste. Mm -hmm. But that did not stop him from becoming mm -hmm. the the king of Mali. Exactly. So the Eurocentric view of the divine theory of um, the leader. Mm -hmm is different from the Afrocentric view, in my opinion. opinion. All Good. right? Yeah. Um, for example, uh, putting emphasis on the, the belief of, of one Marabu man, mm -hmm. uh, who is the Khalifa of Medina Sidiya today, Bayaya Dabo, mm -hmm. he told me this is the reason why Mandinkas call him Mansa, mm -hmm. that I did not buy it. Mm -hmm. Nobody buys it. Mm -hmm. It is bestowed in him by the divine creator. Okay. All right. Wow, what is it? That, that's an interesting okay. <laughs> theory. Mm -hmm. Now, let's come to the brass tacks now. National People's Party going to elections in 2021. Mm -hmm. Let me bring you some of the issues that you may be already confronting with, mm -hmm. uh, confronted with already in your new job. Okay. Now, <clears throat> most of the <clears throat> issues, mm -hmm. <clears throat> excuse me, that many people who are not necessarily in agreement mm -hmm. with President Barrow and the NPP is that one, mm -hmm. he was a person who reneged mm -hmm. on his promise to <clears throat> to just reign for only okay to to be in government for only a certain time, mm -hmm. be it three years. Well, that was what was initially said, or it's five years. But it was all, always going to be meant to be a transition period after which he's going to quit mm -hmm. and will not seek to contest elections mm -hmm. because Gambians believe at the time that. It is only when the incumbent is not in this particular election mm -hmm. that the level can be seen to be really, the, the ground can seem to be level, mm -hmm. in which case people will be more liberated, mm -hmm. uh, free of inducement, free of uh, you know, anticipation or enticement from the exec, uh, rather the or incumbent. Mm -hmm. they, will be vote, they will vote freely, make their own minds among the choices between them. Mm -hmm. Critic said, one, he has reneged on that. Mm -hmm. In the last four years, many people that he's think that his government mm -hmm. has missed out on a lot of opportunities and goodwill that uh, the change has brought about. Mm -hmm. And there seem to be rampant corruptions, allegations of corruptions. Mm -hmm. We have read in the media and so many things, attempts at people attempting to fleece money from the government, etc. Mm -hmm. There is a major problem between him and the people from whom he came Mm -hmm. to the throne that is the UDP you, you talk about God mm -hmm. um, I would like to know whether you believe that mm -hmm. um, uh, you know apart from God it was the UDP that made him president these issues are still there that you will be confronted with so what are your approaches to this do you think and how do you think the NPP can try to survive and fend off all these criticisms um, evidently speaking yes I think NPP is surviving and is growing from lower to higher levels in terms of membership and population. Why do you believe that is the case? Evidence of this can be seen in the, in the launching of the party, mm -hmm. which is undisputable. Mm -hmm. And when you talked about failing Gambians, mm -hmm. I think the common denominator, most suitable would be the group of Gambians that had gone into that agreement. Mm -hmm. And not necessarily the and people? Not, and not necessarily. Because the people, why? I think what is more fitting yeah. is that when Gambia is taken into respect, mm -hmm. the constitution comes into play, and yes. it is the most supreme. Yes. All right? Yeah. The coalition had been formed, mm -hmm. and they said, they had a lot of discussions and agreement. Mm -hmm. This coalition is a cross-section of the Gambian people. Mm -hmm. And it is not a representation of the Gambia. 
but a representation of a group of political interests. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. That was what they had said. Mm -hmm. So that when the idea was brought, mm -hmm. Gambians in their totality had their fundamental rights to be had. Mm -hmm. And there was diversity in opinion. Whereas, most members of the coalition strongly believe that what had been discussed and agreed should be followed letter for word, letter. Mm -hmm. The rest of the population took the constitution to judge the dispute. Mm -hmm. What is the provision of the constitution mm -hmm. according to which government should be run? And certainly, the conclusion can only be that mm -hmm. governments are voted into power on the basis of five years in the Gambia, mm -hmm. and anything otherwise mm -hmm. would be in contravention with the constitution mm -hmm. and therefore declared null and void. Mm -hmm. Any group of people mm -hmm. who must have sat somewhere to discuss as a group mm -hmm. of interested people could have had other things that would be binding them to their agreement. Mm -hmm. But as far as matters of the state and government is concerned, mm -hmm. this is why Gambians have been had. Good. You, you, you are suggesting that uh, the Constitution mm -hmm. was what was relied on for him to renege on his promise to go to five years. Mm -hmm. Why, what do you say to theories that mm -hmm. whether it is the constitution which says five years mm -hmm. or ten years, mm -hmm. the person who gave the promise that I will go after five years or mm -hmm. after three years mm -hmm. can still live mm -hmm. if he or she is willing. Mm -hmm. I mean, the constitution did not say mm -hmm. you cannot live at three years, you cannot live at two years, mm -hmm. you cannot live at one month. Mm -hmm. The constitution basically said you cannot go beyond five years without coming back to the people. Mm -hmm. But he didn't say you cannot live after three years. Mm -hmm. Mr. Barrow said he will live after three years. What changed that? The constitution did not change that. Um, that is right. Again, mm -hmm. I think even for the coalition, yeah. the largest possible gathering other than the election campaign trail mm -hmm. could have been the convention they had, mm -hmm. where they had representation of parties by 70 participants. Mm -hmm with a view to selecting a member. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, if that was what had a degree mm -hmm. on these three years, mm -hmm. and the matter came to the general population of the Gambia, mm -hmm. if President Barrow is to treat the Gambian people fairly, mm -hmm. it was going to be important to find out, mm -hmm. even without a scientific survey being conducted, but to ordinarily find out what is the thinking and the opinion of the majority of Gambians. That was not done. Was that not done? How was it done? Was, your, did, your did you, did you program, hear, pro did, you, did, you, did you see President Barrow and his people going around the country no, asking no, no, them? No, uh, no, that is why I said even if a scientific con um, survey was not conducted, yeah. but there could be an avenue by which, you know, Popular opinion I, I could can't have been remember obtained. President Barrow or his people going around the country or even at whatever level asking people their opinion. That was not done. That wasn't done. Done. So but that was one one way. That that is one problem. That, that commission is, on that, his side. That was one way of finding out popular opinion. But that wasn't done. That wasn't done. So, uh, but other than that way, yes. there could have been alternative ways to. Which is, for what? example, the mass media. Okay. If you listen to programs on the media in those days, yes. A lot of people had had expressed mm -hmm. their desire and resolve mm -hmm. for President Barrow mm -hmm. to continue in power mm -hmm. and not respecting the three years agreement, which is personal I tell to you, the coalition. I tell you what happened in those days. Mm -hmm. um, until until mm -hmm. he started showing mm -hmm. signs. And in fact, at one point, he specifically said, mm -hmm. I intend to pursue and see of my 
five year time until that day nobody came out except his own people in the UDP mm -hmm. who said in fact nobody should listen to three years it is unconstitutional mm -hmm. and he should go for five years mm -hmm. all right until that time you, you are now saying, listen now okay. listen until that time mm -hmm. everybody is with, with in fact with, with, in, with the impression that the president will keep his promise he was asked he, well before the three years comes he said look it is three years and when the time comes we will decide mm -hmm. so you understand what i'm saying so what i'm very trying, well yeah, okay what i'm trying to tell you is mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. until he began to show signs that yes. he really now want to serve out his full time mm -hmm. nobody was singing this kind of song you are talking about that in fact the president should go for five years and not three only it came only from his own people before he he fell out with them the udp not only from udp well that was that was that was the first time we no. heard that actually we should put this Can, three years aside let me let us reflect on the organization of five years journal yes are you I no three that? years journal okay. five years five years borrow uh, for five years borrow for five years it was it came as a response to three years for all good and that purpose. is that is what i am saying yes that is what i am saying it yes. so it was not necessarily mm -hmm. only udp who were saying barrow would go for five years mm -hmm. a lot of other gambians no. some of them saw it necessary that they should be no. formed in an no. organized group no you you miss out something in history mm -hmm. the udp never said three years journal mm -hmm. at least before they fell out mm -hmm. with their own man mm -hmm. This was five years. Mm -hmm. It was when they began to show, mm -hmm. when the man began to show mm -hmm. that he wants to, in fact, go beyond five years. Mm -hmm. That's the UDP mm -hmm. became disgruntled, mm -hmm. if you want, mm -hmm. and some of them changed mm -hmm. to now said, "Well, you go, go look at this man now. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. we understood him mm -hmm. and gave him, I mean, support so that he can go for five years, even against." his own words our own agreement but now he's looking beyond five years mm -hmm. so those of those some of some of those people change now to say well why don't we go and get him to do the three years we agreed on mm -hmm. in the first place they did not agree with that mm -hmm. but since the table changed mm -hmm. they now want him to obey that three years mm -hmm. then many of the people who are opposed to the udp and surrounding him said look mm -hmm. you we can't do this now the man will go for five years mm -hmm. Because the udp's position have changed so i'm trying to tell you mm -hmm. that many people think that the fundamental uh, issue around this mm -hmm. has to do with President Barrow's own decision, mm -hmm. and that is he mm -hmm. and nobody else mm -hmm. wants to serve a full five years mm -hmm. and then go beyond that. So you can't say that mm -hmm. anyone is to blame for that. You mm -hmm. don't want to think that it's President's own personal decision. Mm -hmm. What do you make of it? Um, I think it will be an underestimation to think that uh, President Barrow should single-handedly decide as a political leader. So you mean even even for his own career, he cannot he should not decide when to leave and when to stay. No, 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 no. For some matters, he could decide. Mm. But yes, sensitive and nationally involved matters like this, mm -hmm. it is only prudent mm -hmm. on him mm -hmm. to listen to the opinion of the majority of Gambians. You have cited UDP as one. Mm -hmm. You and I know that there are a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. Some of them eventually organized in an organized group mm -hmm. and said borrow for five years and yet mm -hmm. those who have not been heard mm -hmm. either in the media or in anything mm -hmm. are still the majority okay who are interested for the continuity for the full term to be done for several reasons i tell you that mm -hmm. until president barrow changed okay all those people mm -hmm. are with the opinion that he is going to leave at three years the only people who didn't want that was his own people the udp mm -hmm. before he fell out with them okay let's move on okay now what about corruption there are a lot of allegations that mm -hmm. many people you hear in fact oh it's better now to be a civil servant even before uh, even even at the time of jawara and, and and there is there is there is there is every now and then you hear of people attempting to fleece the nation uh, monies that are, have come i mean there have not been any transparent explanations fully satisfied people how this money is spent i can kiss left you a lot of allegations i can list them up to 10 to 11 but let me tell ask you what is your concept and opinion that people believe that the government is corrupt um 
believing that government is corrupt is not enough in my view. Mm -hmm. Government is corrupt mm -hmm. because government has done this or mm -hmm. a particular senior officer in government has done this and that mm -hmm. to substantiate mm -hmm. the criticism you are giving. Mm -hmm. um, because remember, mm -hmm. for the state machinery to function, mm -hmm. you must have people who are actors in the system. Mm -hmm. If you have an actor in the system, mm -hmm. until he is materially proven, mm -hmm. it will be wrong to allege him being corrupt when there is no evidence against him. Let me tell you a case. Uh, there was a problem at C4 Senior Secondary School one time. C4. That was during the job marriage? No. Or oh, as recent as now? As recent as now. Okay. Um, how did the nation come to know about it? Because I think there was some form of demonstration in the, in the school and in the community. Children were protesting that they were not going into classes because they think or thought that the school management had mismanaged certain things, mm -hmm. such as the school bus and a few other items. This is the man that I personally know the principal. Mm -hmm. I know how straightforward, how strict, how honest he is, mm -hmm. and how much he loves the teaching profession. Mm -hmm. If he had spent all his life in nothing but teaching, at the 11th hour, a small group of people come and allege him this way, mm -hmm. it would be serious for anybody to prematurely act. But on the very day, I had the media talking. Some of them almost inclined into believing what the students had said. Mm. Investigations were mounted, and the principal and the school management was not proven to be guilty. So the point that I'm trying to drag at is, mm -hmm. I can talk, I am assigned to be talking on matters of the NPP. Mm -hmm. There is a government spokesperson. Okay. All right? Yeah. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned... Mm -hmm. Well, you know, these are the arguments you will face, the opposition. Yes, I am not refusing. So you need I'm to, not, you need I'm to not be prepared. Yes, it. yes, but I'm, I'm saying yeah. um, it is easy to allege. Okay. Because words are not bought. But you, you don't know about officially sanctioned audit reports that uh, highlighted corruption in many... I have a lot of them that I can refer you to? I will not subscribe to any system that supports corruption. Okay. All right? All right. But you don't let, want to admit it exists? Let, let, let that be clear. You don't want to admit that it exists in the system? I, and I cannot admit yeah. for now okay. that it has existed anywhere unless it mm. is materially proven. Okay. Let's talk right? about the NPP. Okay. You put up, it has been said that you put up structures all across the country now. Mm-hmm. Not so. Okay. Tell us about those structures. Mm -hmm. from, from what level and to what level are you so organized? Um, as you know, a political party mm -hmm. is a political machinery mm -hmm. that can only function when it has structures and assigned responsibilities to pe people. Okay. So that the NPP, mm -hmm. like other political parties, has also established structures at the national, regional, mm -hmm. constituency, mm -hmm. ward, and village levels. Mm -hmm. You've got all that now? Yes. You've got regional, In, regional uh, chairman, yes. ward chairman, mm -hmm. right down the village chairman. Mm -hmm. You've got all that now? All of them. Not only chairpersons, but yeah. also as well as committees. All right? Mm -hmm. um, that is the feedback so far mm -hmm. that we have got. And the, the party is planning to make a verification mm -hmm. um, about the establishments mm -hmm. and to find out the functionality of each of the structures at all the levels. Because okay. it, would, it is dangerous to assume that the structure is there existing. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the structure or you have the structure nominally, mm -hmm. but it does not you know, effectively function. Now, you, that is why. people like you in the executive are, will be the task to get to the 
get to the grassroots and did the, do these assessments and see whether anything's working. Many people mm -hmm. are saying, your, your opponents, that even people like yourself had very little connection or influence in Nyomi, where you come from, because you were there when Barrow defeated, you were there, you know, shooting for APRC when Barrow defeated him in most of the areas in the NBD. Mm -hmm. How much of that perception have changed now? Mm -hmm. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't disagree with the fact that there are more UDP and GDC supporters <laughs> at the time of the 2016. <laughs> Can you believe that that have changed now? For example, Badibu, which is the bedrock of uh, UDP, is mm -hmm. in NBR. How can you assure us that Badibu people, people like you can change them? Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Cham. Yes. A lot of changes are taking place. Mm a lot of important changes mm -hmm. are taking place. Mm -hmm. Because politics is about meeting the needs of the people. Mm -hmm. It is a fact that at the 2016 elections... Yeah, you were there for APRC. I was there for APRC. But UDP and GDC won most of the seats there, were yes, constituencies. Yes, almost yeah. all of them. All the constituencies except one. And you were APRC. Yes, you couldn't, I, change, you couldn't I, change the people's was, mind. You see, it was not a one-factor consideration mm. to bring about election results. Mm, many things change. Many things come into play. Mm. If you are making it a one-factor theory mm. that it is only the factor of governor, mm. which should, you know, you will be mistaken. No, you know, I'm, I'm taking the consideration of you being deputy spokesman. They must have done some assessment. Oh, Lavin was governor, he was chief. He mm -hmm. probably had some influence over the people. But mm -hmm. you were there when Barrow defeated Jamme, when you were through and through APRC. That is what I'm saying. Now, the people there mm -hmm. are, are, were either GDC or UDP. Mm -hmm. On the people believe they, are still, they still are. Mm -hmm. You want to say they have changed? A lot of changes have taken place. We haven't seen evidence. We um, of course, there are evidences. Like what? Um, in the first place, uh, I haven't had you. You cut a, B, a UDP big week from Badibu to come and sit, to come or chairman or whatever to come to the NPP. i have yet to hear that and the grassroots too. You see, as soon as it was declared that I was the, um, uh, spokesman, postperson of the NPP. Yeah. That night alone, yeah, I received was... several calls. Okay. Several calls from from New across the region. Okay. Nyomi and Badebo. Yeah. And you they, know, and they are saying we have we have all come over now. Soliciting, yes. yes. Showing that yeah. some of those people, even prior to my appointment into the spokes position Passing. of spokesperson, yeah. would be telling me and they speak very honestly, mm -hmm. even when they knew that I was NPP, mm. they will speak very honestly. Mm -hmm advising on what strategies we work and so on. Mm. At the moment, mm. you are aware mm. that the Hakalang Road is yes. being constructed. Yes. It's, well, yes. If you want to accept the reality that politics is about meeting the needs of the people, mm -hmm. and people respond positively when their needs are met, mm -hmm. how much would that reflect on the equation in Upper Nyumi, okay. on the political equation since 2016? Good. The, 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 the president had always said that mm -hmm. he believed that his actions, his mm -hmm. development projects, okay. would speak for him, mm -hmm. and that means that will automatically drag people to him okay. and his party. No, I'm not. We have I'm, seen areas. Yes, but I'm not saying what yeah. is the president's opinion. Yeah. I'm saying, mm. in your candid opinion, yes. How much influence would that impact on the equation? Well, it depends on the people, the kind of the thinking of the people there. When the so, politicians will always naturally be. How much have President 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 Jamme, some of the road projects that he initiated, you know, in the combos and all the times many years many years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they were still there when he was defeated by Barrow. Mm -hmm. So the, the calculations change mm -hmm. and the perceptions change. Mm -hmm. So if you sit down there and say, when the build, road is built from Bunyadu to Albreda, mm -hmm. all the people there will automatically become NPP. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, I see, I, I even hear voices who mm -hmm. are going to be direct beneficiaries who still don't believe in everything. No, I'm not that, saying. That NPP I'm is not right? saying. I'm yeah? not saying all the people are coming to NPP. Okay. So you said but majority of them will change. 
the question was, mm. in your candid opinion, yeah. if politics is about meeting the needs of the people, yeah. how much impact, how much influence would that impact on the equation in Upper Nyumi? Okay, I agree that a lot of people will definitely appreciate that and go to the ballot box with that. Two. I appreciate. I, two, I accept. Two. Yeah. It is not a single factor matter mm -hmm. that influences political behavior. Okay. All right? Yeah. Um, meeting the needs of the people is one thing. Mm -hmm. Yet, it is another thing to provide them the psychological stability and security that they need. And, and, and also, what people will see, uh, the alternative. Yes. Alternatives can come. No, for, for example, Factors that are going to influence the, the citing of alternatives is what I'm talking about. Okay. If now, you meet the people's needs... Mm -hmm. And there is no imposition of psychological insecurity on them. Mm -hmm. They are comfortable. They are enjoying democracy. They are enjoying the freedom of speech. The media is flourishing. Mm -hmm. Everybody is talking about what he or she thinks mm -hmm. he needs to say. Yeah. The people are at liberty. Yeah, but, but and normally, yeah. under normal circumstances, when people are at liberty and yeah. their needs are met, mm -hmm. they positively respond. Okay, you know, I've had a lot of, I've had President Barrow himself taking mm. credit for the uh, flurry, I mean, the, 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 the freedom of press, freedom of expression, freedom of assembly, etc., and the pure democratic principles that his government is implementing. But, I mean, mm -hmm. these are not things that he can surely credit to himself. Mm -hmm. These are the expectations that people have put in place by voting for him to do exactly that. Yes. So I, why do you think he should surely take credit and this is happening? I, they, last, last, uh, 20 years ago they couldn't say this, 30 years ago they couldn't say this. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the people I'm, who in their desire to regain those freedoms mm -hmm. who put you in place exactly to do that. I am not... If I'm, he should... If, don't you think today if he sticks, slide back to dictatorship mm -hmm. in its real form, mm -hmm. he, will be the first to, he will be the first to retreat? You see, that is why I am not disputing yeah. that the people there is a reason for voting somebody okay and some of the reasons brilliant as yeah. they are uh -huh. and they still are yeah. are some of the qualities yeah. of society that you are citing now i agree all right that one but of the, i'm also one of the, saying one of the I'm, golden Mr. achievements Chan, no no i agree one I'm, of the golden I'm also achievements saying, yeah. i'm also saying yeah. that political systems do not come from the blue mm -hmm. They are created by people and maintained by people. And of all the people, mm -hmm. if these are going to be regarded as development of society, mm -hmm. the most important person mm -hmm. in that development process mm -hmm. is nothing more than the political leader elected by the people. Good. Let's, let's move. That is why... Mm -hmm. Tuna and Holme in their book, mm -hmm. Governance, Administration and Development, they want development actors and experts mm -hmm. to take note of the map of power and authority in any society where they want to bring development. All I right? can see you bringing a lot of philosophy to the NPP. That doesn't take the fact, Mr. Jamu, that mm -hmm. uh, you still have a mammoth task. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, to gather I mean, the kind of massive support you wish for the NPP mm -hmm. uh, to be able to win in 2021. Now, let's go. We were talking about your grassroots. You've established everything there. Mm -hmm. I started with your NBR. I said, mm -hmm. that place, even when you were governor mm -hmm. and surely very influential in the UDP, in the APRC, mm -hmm. you were defeated by GDC and UDP mm -hmm. in your own division. Mm -hmm. You want to, I ask whether anything has changed mm -hmm. since then you believe people have changed even on your assumption of this post you have a lot of telephone calls that suggest that people have uh, really wo people are warm up to the party and you show that this will translate into massive support mm -hmm. you also said that the hackerland road project mm -hmm. is really going to change people massively mm -hmm. um, to appreciate uh, the new your party mm -hmm. and the government as that mm -hmm. i told you that i had people in badibu the bedrock of um, um, UDP who still believe that people like you and the others from there mm -hmm. doesn't have any influence on the grassroots people. How much <laughs> confidence, how, how confident are you that you're going to change people from 
from Badibu, for example, mm -hmm. Nyomi, who are mm -hmm. UDP, mm -hmm. uh, to come to you. You said I should not judge you individually. You, you describe the circumstances that will come. Mm -hmm. Now, let's move on to... Um, no, I'm saying... Yeah. I think that is not a fair opinion. Okay. I think it is more than bias. Exactly. That no matter the extent of hate mm -hmm. you have so for somebody, mm -hmm. When it comes to reality, one must not fool oneself. Mm -hmm. If somebody tells you, mm -hmm. Queen had been a chief for 16 years. Mm -hmm. He had been going and coming with people. Mm -hmm. He had been eating and drinking with people. Mm -hmm. He had been doing everything in common with the people. Mm -hmm. And yet, Queen does not have any influence over anybody. Mm -hmm. Can that be reasonably taken? Okay, that's debatable, you are right. That is, that is human for anybody to think in that line. Okay, okay. All right? Yes. I said single factors, Those there things. are no single factors to single-handedly decide people's behavior in elections. Okay. Against Queen, against the influence of Queen on one side of the scale, mm -hmm are a host of other conditions, environmental, political, whatever, called it, mm -hmm. that would have to weigh each other. Mm -hmm. We are not blind to what had been happening in the Gambia, the doubts that people had in our regime at the closing end of it. Mm -hmm. Those are the conditions that you will have to weigh against other influences. Okay. That can influence behavior for accepting or not accepting. Moving forward now, um, okay. you said you belong to the school of thought which believe that leaders are divinely Created. brought and designed. Mm -hmm. And if one or a group of people assume leadership, what is naturally acceptable is for one to accept that this is the will of God. Mm -hmm. If President Barrow should be Mm -hmm. defeated in 2021. Mm -hmm. Would that mean you will abandon and go to the new party when I won? Doi or UDP? There will still be a leader. You, you will follow that leader? Certainly that is what I will follow. So on, as far as you are concerned, less, you, don't believe, you don't believe in any ideologies how you know to develop the country or any theories. You believe that anybody who is in power should be followed blindly. In fact, that is why mm. because of my belief in what I believe in, mm -hmm. that is why I am following the leader. I believe mm -hmm. that to bring about a change in a system mm -hmm. could be internally motivated mm -hmm. or externally influenced. Yeah, I mean, you agree that if uh, should, should me, there be a new me, leader me, in 2021, you, you will go to that Excuse leader. me, excuse me, Mr. Jam. Mm -hmm. Internally motivated changes mm -hmm. are those that are brought about from members from within. Mm -hmm. My contribution is that I'm going to be part of those from within. Mm. If I see government not properly function as far as the democratic environment can allow it, mm -hmm. I honestly talk to you mm. and try to influence change from within. within. There are others yeah. who believe yeah. that changes sometimes coming from within is yeah. wasting, yeah. time wasting and uh, very unmeaningful. Exactly. And therefore, what they believe in is to launch external attacks oh, for a change to happen. Change to happen. You don't believe. You don't belong to that. No, I don't believe. I, I, I don't belong to that group. Basically, what you are saying, if you see anything going wrong within the NPP, you mm -hmm. will come and address it within, rather so, than sitting outside and. Uh, in any government, for that matter. That's that's how. It's in any government, that is where I'm always ready. Now, the, the, let's talk about the NPP. When the executive was formed, many people believe mm -hmm. that uh, much of the people who were so prominent, mm -hmm. people like Dude Sano, uh, Sheikh Humbalo, uh, and the likes, uh, uh, Shia Kajata, when many people be believe that these people were actually expected to be the big wigs in the party, nobody mm -hmm. heard about them, and critics said, well, they have been sidelined. Or many said, uh, this comes from a realization that they are civil servants. Which one, which, one, which, which one do you think is the correct picture? Why aren't they there, or they were not interested? I responsibilities given to individual actors may be determined by law mm -hmm. 
and they may also be determined by individual capabilities and interests. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As far as pioneer members like Dusano and the few other names that you have mentioned are concerned, mm -hmm. I don't think it is practically possible mm -hmm. uh, for anybody to think mm -hmm. that they can be sidelined in matters regarding President Barrow. Mm -hmm. On the contrary, mm -hmm. what could happen is for the group to internally sit and decide mm -hmm. through critical analysis mm -hmm. and say, I'm giving up this for that. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. For example, if you know that by bringing in Queen a spokesperson, mm -hmm. we let Dusano away. Mm -hmm. But Dusano is a founder member, is a staunch supporter of the NPP and President Barrow, mm -hmm. who would never retreat, nor would he surrender. Mm -hmm. There is no way that we can miss him. Mm -hmm. It is wise thinking then, mm -hmm. that in his place, mm -hmm. you bring in Queen as a way of motivation, mm -hmm. and as a way of creating innate opportunity mm -hmm. for, for those other guys outside to come. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. So, uh, many people believe it was consideration that they were civil servants. Uh, I mean, so it wouldn't be proper, as you said, by law to hold executive positions. Mm -hmm. If that was the thinking, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, one wondered why from the very beginning they, they didn't appreciate that as civil servants they were not supposed to plunge deeply into politics, party politics. But like you said, you've already answered that it could I be one reason or the other. <laughs> now, the position of deputy leader. Mm -hmm was not filled. Mm. And uh, many people, well, this led to theories that that's been reserved for somebody from another party, which the NPP is working on, uh, I mean, aligning with. Example, the APRC. You believe mm. that? Um, factually speaking, mm -hmm. let me make it clear that mm. it is not, in fact, the entire executive which is filled. Okay, but a senior position the, like party party deputy, one would have told that uh, if President Barrow may be busy with politics, no, uh, rather saying, governing governance matters, he, so he definitely needs somebody strong. So the deputy position shouldn't have been filled if left unfilled. I mean, vacant up to now. The answer is yes. It is not only the deputy position that we have cited which is unfilled. That's what I'm saying. I'm but, saying the importance of a deputy position. Mm -hmm. Uh, it really should suggest that that place should not be left vacant if it was not reserved, according to critics, for mm. somebody from another party no. which you are wooing to, 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 to join. I am, I am making it clear mm -hmm. that it is not only that deputy position which is not filled. Okay, which are the other ones? Some okay. other positions are there that are not filled. Which are they? Then that will be a long and list of positions. I saw a long list for even strategic planning, deputy strategic planning. I mean, yes, whole yes. Lot. I'm saying mm. that is why mm. on the occasion, it was clearly mentioned that it was the informal inauguration. It was that the formal some people call it exec, um, interim executive. Interim executive, yes. Mm -hmm. It is the interim executive informally being inaugurated. On so that, that means day. we could expect that all of you or some of you could be changed when the final one comes. In a democratic organization, yeah. opinion decisions are thrown to the people for decision. Because the NPP is relatively young, and it could not hold any Congress for now. That is why, naturally, to remain with democratic principles, we can only call it an interim executive. So you don't believe that the deputy... So that mm -hmm. the, the deputy when the time comes for mm -hmm. Congress to be held, mm -hmm. Congress will be done, mm -hmm. and the members of the NPP mm -hmm. will democratically elect their, their party representatives. They don't have to hold the Congress before the elections because the party is not yet two years no, old. No, so. it is we are not holding any Congress before elections. So we, we, we you don't we didn't believe what critics said that this position to be specific is being reserved for somebody from APRC. No I'm saying the critics that's not the, that's not the plan. That is not it. Mm, that's you know wrong. development is about everything. So why change. why is it not filled? It's a very important position. The president was very busy with governance matters. Yes. He cannot be with you everywhere in the new meetings in the he cannot be even if he wants to. Mm -hmm. Somebody you know, mm -hmm. you know, must take decisions on his behalf. But, but since, that place is left vacant. Yeah, but since there is a national president and two 
deputy national president. So deputy, there must be a reason to live in that senior position vacant. What is that, Mr. Mr. Jame? The reason is that yeah. we want to give ourselves enough time, time, not only that deputy position, but all other unfilled positions mm -hmm. to be properly filled mm -hmm. so that they become functionally very effective. So, so that means even people like you, Queen, might get yourself in deputy leader depending on your performance. And not necessarily somebody from outside. Anyway. <laughs> That's possible. <laughs> Don't rule it out. <laughs> Don't but rule then, it. Yeah. That, is the, that is the position. Huh? Okay. Most people believe that mm -hmm. um, uh, the, 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 the NPP's, even President Barrow admit this at one point, that mm -hmm. his main opposition is the UDP. Mm -hmm. He said it in, at a, at, uh, in an interview with I Africa. He said, our main opposition now is UDP. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go to the 2016 elections mm -hmm. results, mm -hmm. it was it was indeed a coalition government, mm -hmm. coalition of parties. In mm -hmm. fact, there are parties who played, you would say, who played a let's say um, a very big role. Even if you don't say you know bigger than the UD, but you could say they played very big roles. Mm -hmm. Now, but if you look at the analysis of the results. Mm -hmm. Most of the places where president Pres presidential elections in the presidential elections, okay. most of the constituencies where President Barrow or candidate Adam Barrow mm -hmm. beat Yaya Jame and Mama Kande by tens of thousands. Mm -hmm. I repeat, mm -hmm. most of the constituencies where Barrow was mm -hmm. ahead of Jame and Kande mm -hmm. by tens of thousands mm -hmm. were UDP strongholds. Mm -hmm. If you really study the political landscape. Mm -hmm. Now, many people believe that in order for the NPP to make inroads, mm -hmm. it has to attack mm -hmm. and get the majority mm -hmm. of those from the UDP. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is happening? It is on course. It is on course. Mm. For example, yes. during the presidential election mm. 2016, mm. I was APRC. Yes. And Mama Kande, was it? In Kande the defeated in your constituency. You were defeated in your own constituency, isn't it? Not only in my own constituency, but in my own village. <laughs> That's I'm saying in my own village. That is the reality. That's very interesting. Yes. So, so okay. Yes. In my own village, uh, um, President Adama Barrow pulled more votes yeah. than my candidate, who was Yaya Yaya And you were there. I was there. But Represented Yaya. Yes, but then, um, so I think I made it very clear yeah. that the factors were many. It is not the factor of you, one. You think Jack Barrow can repeat the same feat? Um, I'm asking. You think in passing? You think he can repeat the same feat in your village? Oh yes, the chances <laughs> are more than the more than the. <laughs> let me show you. Okay. Following the presidential election was the national assembly. Yes. At the time of national assembly elections, I voted for UDP. So you see, you, you, that's, in, that's in tandem with your policy that those who come to power uh, are divine by, uh, divine by, designed by God. So you not, thought UDP not was only, governing. Not only that, mm. not only that, but I was personally engaged by the top eclom of UDP yeah. soliciting my support for, okay. soliciting my support for their candidate. Good. All right? Yeah. And... Uh, a lot of my kind are there mm -hmm. who were who had voted UDP in the National Assembly but are now NPP full time. Fantastic. So this shows that All right. in for what I'm saying, people are already shifting from UDP to NPP. Yes. Okay. People are shifting. I think it is clear mm -hmm. that the that the NPP uh, despite the fact that it is one of the youngest parties. Mm -hmm is very rapidly growing mm -hmm. uh, in numbers. Is, and anybody who underrates that mm -hmm. will be seriously mistaken. Well, this is, this is, this, this, you, this is, this is, what is the magic you think, finally? Um, the magic principle mm -hmm. are some of the opportunities that we have as a party in government. Mm. Incumbency. Yes. Which we are not supposed to have been the case, because you supposed to, your leader should have quit and leveled the field. 
No, it was not supposed to be. Yes. From what angle are you judging? Well, from from the, from his very own words. That no, he's lived. from from the coalition things. Oh, no, not from you. you, are, are, you it is know, only. It there, is are people, only. <laughs> there are people who are not in the coalition. Mama Kandar, yeah, Jamne supporters. We are not in the coalition. But Mama was. But not. he told everybody that he was going, and he will not contest again. No, but Mama. Yes. Did not. If you put on. if you put Mama Kandar and Jamne's votes together, mm -hmm. that's more than the coalition who voted for Barrow. Okay. And he told those people that he was going to leave and was not going to contest. So forget about the coalition members. Who, who is not going to contest? Mr. Barrow uh -huh. said in his manifesto, the uh -huh. coalition manifesto, uh -huh. that whoever win, and that happened to be him, uh -huh. will leave the field and will not contest that election. Uh -huh. Yes, but you see... He didn't tell that to all the coalition. Mr. He told Chang. that to people like uh, uh, Jamme and Mama Kande supporters, as Gambians. The coalition was formed. Uh -huh. The coalition subsequently developed a lot of fragments, a lot of problems which resulted into the fragmentation of the entire organization. So many people said you the know coalition that. failed people, mm -hmm. but they don't easily admit that Barrow is part of that coalition which failed the people. If the coalition failed, as you agreed, mm -hmm. he was very much, in fact, he was the integral part no, of it. No, I did not say the coalition failed. Oh, they didn't disappoint what I people. Said, yeah. What I said yeah. was that the coalition was formed. Yeah. It later on developed a lot of problems that had resulted into the fragmentation mm -hmm. of the entire organization. Yes. See? Yes. So roles for society to work, yeah. roles have to be identified and assigned. Okay. That's if roles are not taken. Yeah. That's a topic for another <laughs> debate. But finally, um, Mr. Yame, um, I want to hear your plans as deputy or as spokesman of the uh, party, your own plans and views going into the future for the NPP? Um, the NPP as a party will put together a comprehensive plan of action mm -hmm. that will lead us into the election campaign mm -hmm. and finally to the elections. And why should people vote for you? The people, if I say people vote for President Barrow mm -hmm. as the flag bearer of NPP, mm -hmm. I'll be speaking from the angle of NPP. Mm -hmm. But I am saying that political regimes are made by people in anticipation of their needs being fulfilled. If that is the sole essence of forming government, that we are putting our powers together and entrusting them to this so that they can be returned to us in the form of goods and services. That should be the parameter on which election behavior can be measured in a sober environment. If people are going to vote based on how much return have we received from the government since it was formed, they will be citing issues like how much free am I as an individual? Am I at liberty? The anticipated freedom that I was working for myself, have I really got it? What is the condition of my physical needs being met? What are the conditions of communication in terms of roads, in terms of bridges? You know, in an enlightened situation, these are the parameters that should be measure behavior, election um, behavior. In the ins instance that people are giving these conditions their back and citing feeble, very feeble conditions such as tribalism, mm -hmm. then they become subjective in their totality. So, the role of political parties is to show the people what they intend doing for them. The role of the ruling party is not only to tell people what they intend doing, but to practically deliver to the people the services they require, the conditions they require, the freedom they need, the liberty they need, so that if political parties are enlightening the electorates on the basis of this mm -hmm. to make democracy sustainable, mm -hmm. 
because unless our democracy is built on these foundations, mm -hmm. it will not be sustainable. Thank you very much, the Honorable Lamin Kwe Jame. Queen Jame, the spokesman for the National People's Party. Thank you very much, and we hope, well, I can assure you that this place is open to you anytime, mm -hmm. either through your own initiative, you want to clarify issues you have seen in the media, mm -hmm. you are welcome to come, and I'm sure, and I would like to urge you to... Yes, in fact, just uh, a yes. minute. Yes. Uh, when you mentioned the media, something came into my mind. Yes, very good. Of recent, at the informal inauguration, mm -hmm. President Barrows had said yes. that he prefers, he prefers debt. No, he did not shame. say he prefers. He said, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. The NPP pref would prefer to take death mm -hmm. to shame. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Yes. And over the period, I've had a lot of misinterpretations given to this. I don't know for what. No. Because the, the, the culture in which you and I were born and cultured mm -hmm. has, as the longest traditional song in Kora, mm -hmm. this phrase. Yes. And there is a lot of important merits mm -hmm. that is expected from such a merit. Because if President Barrow says he would prefer... He, said, he never said himself. He said, we in the NPP, in the NPP would, would prefer, prefer death, death to, shame. to shame. Because yes. if you are to go to war, yes. you have shame or death. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. will prefer mm -hmm. death mm -hmm. to shame. You know mm -hmm. why? Are you, you know, are you Mandinka, Mr. Cham? I speak it very well, but I know what you are going to do. Right. We are trying to say uh -huh. that it's very well spoken in Mandinka that foro sayale fisay malot. No, not no, no, not, not foro, fang, not foro, eko. Eko foro. Ye fulo, no. Fulo. No, not foro. No, I'm telling you, fulo, fulo, eko e sayale uh -huh. malola fulo in. I, man, I'm a sayaleta. I, I sayata. I'm malot. I understand larin. what you are saying. But huh? what, what analysts and critics are saying, mm -hmm. What is, are they saying? Is that a person of President Barrow's caliber mm -hmm. and status mm -hmm. should not mm -hmm. and should not mm -hmm. find it convenient mm -hmm. to issue mm -hmm. words like death mm -hmm. going into an election? It mm -hmm. is going to one, mm -hmm. it is going to heighten tensions, mm -hmm. and it is going to make him look like mm -hmm. he is going all out, mm -hmm. even it means killing or somebody dying mm -hmm. to get elected in December. Mm -hmm. So they are saying mm -hmm. that a person of his status, if mm -hmm. this was Queen Jam, even you cannot say that now, mm -hmm. but if it was a supporter in NPP who was saying that, mm -hmm. people can live with that. Mm -hmm. But if the President of the Republic mm -hmm. said, I would rather die, or you would rather mm -hmm. die than lose, mm -hmm. then people said that is quite out of context, mm -hmm. and he shouldn't say that. Mm -hmm. That is the position of the people. Mm -hmm. in fact, Not that, mm -hmm. you know, what you are saying, they don't understand that. They mm -hmm. frankly understand it. Yes. But they said he wrong, he mm -hmm. chose the wrong word. Mm -hmm. That's the, that's the, basically I, the argument. In fact, don't you agree that he chose the wrong words? No, he did not. Then in there fact, you go. Then you cannot. Excuse, Mr. Cham, you cannot Mr. Blame Cham, people. excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, I think what President Barrow did was to repeat a long-standing traditional song, you know, phrase of a traditional song. Wait, wait, see, wait. See, excuse me, see, excuse me, excuse see, me. You see the, the issue, excuse me, Mr. The issue Cham. With it, let me tell you the issue with it. Is and this. any misinterpretation done out of that? Yeah. No, people don't. Is, People is done by the interpreter and not President Barrow. It is not, it's indisputable. Mm -hmm. 